Kanye West is facing lawsuits seeking to ban him from presidential ballots in Arizona. In a lawsuit already filed, a resident of Arizona, Rizon Clayton, um, stated that independent presidential candidates can appear on the stress ballot if they aren't registered with a recognized political party and gather enough voters' um, signatures to nominate them. And of course, Kanye has gathered that, but going by this, it appears that Kanye isn't qualified to be on the ballot, be ballot because he's a registered Republican. Hmm. I'm happy. Oh. Ah. I'm happy. Someone what what if he has resigned from Republican and we don't know? Ah. Is there something like that? Because yeah. from, but yes, like you say, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not part I guess of so. But you see, why would he, why would he even say that? It's, he's such a joke. You are regist I didn't even know that he was registered, registered Republican. Republican. That came to me as a shock. Yes, and more than ever, I really thing. want him to... He was to... in support of Trump. Yeah, but being in support of Trump yeah. and being a registered Republican. How would he have voted for is... Trump if he wasn't a Republican? No, it's not that he was a Republican. He was a... Re... You're not... You're not getting this. No, you know, there are people who follow the yes, ideas now. and ideology of Republicans and they are not... Poly... It's just so, like me saying I'm supporting PDP, I'm supporting PDP. But I'm not a registered... Because you vote for Donald Trump does not mean that you are a Republican. Yeah. You can believe in the person. Yeah. There's a lot of Republicans that voted for Obama and he's a very strong Democrat. Sometimes your personality. So I didn't know how extreme he was in terms of being a Republican. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry to if there's any American person watching me right now, but as far as you are a registered Republican, I don't trust you. I don't I really I really pray and hope with my soul that somebody stops this man because then I know for, for a fact that his intentions are not very good when it comes to the black community, if you are a registered Republican. But and then if you're having issues with your so-called registered Republic, whatever, and then you create a birthday party, hmm, a birthday party, <laughs> um, thing, even me talking about it, I kind of feel like my IQ is reducing a bit. The whole thing just seems like an, like an absolute joke. And this guy is looking for a place where his ego can be bloated so highly. And obviously the Republicans are not giving him that platform. So he created his own. You don't have good intentions, can you, Wes? Stop while you're at it. Hmm. Well, um, I also raised a valid question. We don't know whether he has announced being a Republican or and not. has now registered as an independent candidate and all of that. So until that information is because they have to, they have to respond to this. Yeah, until that yeah, information. Yeah, been keeping quiet now. Mm. Yeah, so until that information is known, I would, it wouldn't be fair on my part to bash Kanye West. But um, what this just shows me is that look. Regardless of what you do, brother, you cannot win this election. We already know that. It's not like we didn't know that, but now it's beginning it's beginning to be more evident that a lot of people do not even like you. They do it's not, not even they, it's not even about you now. They don't even like the idea that you are See, running. Fam, no one ever in the wildest dreams believes that Kanye West is going to win. But the impact he same could, way no one thought negative, Trump would win. No, no, no. Nah, nah. A lot of people yeah, wanted him to yes. win. The same way a lot of people didn't think Obama would win. No, but you uh, see the thing is there, you, you a, cannot compare yeah, this. Yeah, you can't come yeah, you can't. I mean there were there was people who were strong contenders. He's not even he's not even fit to contend well. My problem isn't him winning. My problem I never is the Trump win. is the effects me too. But he didn't win by 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 um uh, what's it called population yeah, count he won by whatever that's what's that mean um sha oh. that mapping blue blue yes. red red thing. Yeah. what is it called that, there's something oh. about it no i don't feel bad they don't know about Nigerian government either so yeah. it's fine um anyway it wasn't it isn't that he can win or whatever but the effect that he might have on the population count if you know you have a two-party system and you're fighting a war i believe the democrats are fighting the war against donald trump for making sure that he doesn't go back in because if they believe that he doesn't have their best intention and um, mm -hmm. interest at heart and it's a very black dominated voice that is saying this if you come in line as a black man what you're doing is already that you are you are weakening the chances of having a united front to fight Donald Which Trump. Which is what he's always been accused of from day one. So th it's beginning to make sense now. Exactly. If you're not actually uh, registered to really the same waiting, party. I'm really waiting for them for to respond. respond so, the, the, uh, well, I don't know if you goes. remember, well, I don't know if you got to this table where somebody said that he was a mole for the Republicans. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've, now I feel like that is really possible. Like you went to the party, they said no, that we can't obviously, you're too much of a joke. But then go and distract the Joke, Democrats. Yeah. That's what it looks like now. Okay, Possibly. we'll keep watching and see how this goes. I mean, the election is just how many weeks yeah. away? November 3rd, yeah? Mm. Okay.